Okay. Next, approve the minutes. The minutes of September 8th, 2020. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Next, the minutes of September 15th, 2020. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? I will abstain. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Next, we have community concerns. Do we have community concerns tonight? Seeing none. We'll move into new business. First is approve the private road name, Blicky Wig Drive. Interesting. Do we have anyone to speak on that or do we have any? No, it's just what they submitted for the road name. Um, we asked they, they didn't have the road name. I was gonna recommend for not approval. Right. But the three lots of it is and I think from three hours. Where is this? In the small farm road. Oh, yeah. There's nothing in the, nothing can change all the time. But they're getting ready. Down on Randolph Road. Yep. You know where it's far in? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's Thank a very you. strange name. It is. <laughs> I mean, kind of weird. Does it have motion. any history to it? There may be one, and we we may not ever hear it. Right. They have to do this in order to do the subdivision, right? Right. For right. nine one one. As long as it's not obscene, and it seems a little wacky, but Blicky Wig Drive. Hyphenated. Hyphenated. Blicky Wig. Yeah. I have a motion. Did I have a second? Yes. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? I I oppose. Motion is passed. Um, just since Judy's, we need to do a roll call though. Since Judy's here though, we need to do a roll call. Okay. We have um, four ayes for the record, and Judy is nay. Do each one of us have to say it? Yes, please. Aye. 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 Judy? Nay. Okay, thank you. Aye. Number two, accept Pope Meadow Drive as a town road. Now, we had a uh, site visit the other day and looked at any possible concerns and uh, had the highway guys look at it and didn't really identify any problems. We we found a place for the, the snow to be pushed. And we met with the, um, the developer who has been taken care of up till now. So I think he satisfied everything that we had for. Yeah, the only thing since our site walk that, that came up that I, I'd like to, to mention yeah, go ahead. is um, I talked to my sur the surveyor who had done it, who had you know, drafted it. Um, he gave me this map. Yeah. Um, it shows when we had talked about the right of way, we had talked about, you know, 25 feet in and then 30 feet out to encompass the sidewalk. Right. He had it drawn with, um, 20 feet in and 30 feet out to keep it at 50 feet. And that would encompass the sidewalk, which would make it slightly easier for us if we could do that rather than changing everybody's lots. You know, if we, I don't yeah. think that matters, does it? Oh. I'm fine with it. You, Eric? Yeah, that's fine. But that's not including the snow dump area. Nope. I had him indicate on this. You know, you can look at it if you want more. We where we talked more. about. Yep. Uh, the, the snow dump is right, you know, where we right on the corner. In. Yep. Um, he put that in there. Uh, it comes to 1.48 acres is everything that's shaded there. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought it looked like what we talked about other than that, that slight change. In right. The right away, but I, it made sense to me when he said it, so yeah. I, I didn't ask him to, to change it. So. That's fine to me. The only 
thing was uh, the top coat. You're, you're yeah, I'm doing the top coat. Uh, I've talked to to uh, the the papers. I'm, I'm probably going to go with gray paving, and they they promised me that you know between late September and early October. So hopefully within the next you know three to four weeks we'll have that done. Okay. They're not raising manholes. They're going to raise. They're, we found one manhole that will be raised. Okay. I think yeah. the only thing, just to be clear, I think it's something just, and this is looking at something for somebody that looks at 10, 15 years from now, it's the lights stay with the subdivision. That the lights are not the town responsibility. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's the way I understand it. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll continue to pay for those and, yeah. and, uh, and maintain those. Unless you can convince the trustees to take them over, which is. Yeah. Might be a hard road to push. But. Yeah. We'll save that one for later. We're okay with that for right now. It'll be a big help to get it paid. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, it's, I have the drawing in front of me, and I can see kind of like a someone's backyard or whatever there. Right, so right. Well, there's a there's green a space. Common yeah. space, yeah, green space there. There was originally okay. going to be some units there, but mm -hmm. um, they've decided not to do that. It's going to be the three units that are are more toward uh, the southern side, but that the side toward the road is going to be kept clean, green space. Okay. That sounds good. All right, do I hear a motion regarding this? Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the, the subdivision. Yeah. Next, three, approved schedule for zoning change. Um, at the last meeting, you know, I thought about it. I felt like you know, the opportunity to, to go back and, and move things a little bit faster for the residents of that subdivision. So I talked the thought of, about coming up with a you know, kind of a, I know, first off, I understand that anyone doesn't like to go back and change their schedule. Uh, kind of they don't want to see the changes in the law. I also felt like you know, people in the subdivision. You know, I've approached everybody in the town before and tried to get this change. Somewhere along the line, I think we, I think we failed them, first of all. You know, um, and I felt like we could do better by them to get that change to low density residential. Um, so I asked them to put together a schedule of how it could work. And the council back up to the site for to get it done, rather than having that subdivision wait until next year. I think. At least I heard that pretty loud and careful now. You know, once again, I understand the planning council doesn't want to do it. But once again, I think we failed in, in taking care of the residents of that area a couple of years ago, however it happened. So we put this together the schedule. I'd like the select board to approve the schedule for the planning council for with that one um, zoning change for where we're talking about. I'm just this particular case to do it. Um, Concerns about their loss being subdivided. It won't stop all subdivisions, but it does stop some of the other things that could be potentially developing. Right. Yeah, that's what I wanted to point out is that, um, you know, even though it's going to go to low density residential, it's still, most of those lots are still big enough to subdivide. And um, in case people don't realize that, they should realize that. It just means they can't be split into four pieces or whatever. Right. Or they couldn't be small. Comment, anybody? Denny.
Yeah, I don't know the sizes of all of those lots, you know, but. I was just a half acre. Todd, would you chime in on that just for clarification? Uh, being in low density residential, um, what is it still possible for to be done? For many of the lots, you can still subdivide them. The minimal lot size is 10,000 square 10, feet. 10,000. If the zoning change goes through. Right. Right now, it's 4,000 square feet. So it's a big change. Right. It cuts it down by 75%, really. Is there any other comments? It also stops multifamily housing. Correct, well. it does. Yeah. So that's the biggest change, and that's what the kind of compromise of the end of last zoning change. Medium density residential was a lot, and then it was taken out. Right now, in that neighborhood, you can do two family and single family. Uh, the zoning change goes through a single family only. So, no more due lessons when the zoning change goes through, which I assume you'll direct the planning council to make that change tonight. Great. Thanks, Todd. Any comments on the board? I'll make a motion that we approve this updated schedule for the zoning change. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? So in the last paragraph of the schedule, there is a suggestion to the board uh, to be a separate motion. Todd, can you speak to that? Are you looking for us to do an additional motion? I think the motion should be separate for approving the zoning and then directing the council. We are to solve a motion. Okay. And there are two separate agenda items as well. So yeah. We're seeking to do that. Okay, any further dis discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Number four, appoint Nathan Wolf as the full time police officer. Richard, you want to comment on that? Yeah, um, Nathan Wolf actually completed his year of probation in March. He was doing well. Right. Sounds good. Do I hear a motion regarding that? Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? <clears throat> All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. We'll do um, sell the highway truck plow. Kevin? So the pickup, don't pick up the frequency that I got for when it was lost to It came through with a lost knife of plow on it. And within the first year and a half, all the things in which the pair got. Regarding it, motion to sell highway truck well for seven hundred fifty dollars to the town hard. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further dis discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. All right, next old business number one discuss the ATVs on the town roads. Um, you guys uh, yeah, came and met with the select board, and uh, select board at that point in time asked uh, the club to get together with the staff, and myself, and the PD to talk about some options or, or kind of plan a proposal to come back to the select board. But you guys helped me out by getting things in the other day. So 
So we had a good meeting um, between ourselves and the PD to try to figure out who was it. Essentially, trying to do some of the same things that you know, go on that happened in the new court now. Um, so the fault that we really came up with is rather than if you will be specific roads, we'll have to do it by specific roads, which was kind of on her. And the thought of the corner was to be able to connect um, the town of Johnson and their roads that are open in the town of Hyde Park and roads that they're going to be open into some of the commercial areas um, into the town. So what we really came up with is everything from um, <coughs> Silver Ridge Road over here for right now, um, over and including Mud City Loop. And the reason why we thought about that is because they correct me wrong. You want to be able to come over from Johnson to North. Right. Yeah. French Hill. French Hill. And come down and, and be able to get in. And really what we wanted to do is be able to get into the downtown area was be able to come down and use um, Katie's Falls to Bridge Street. And then they were going to work on the crossing for, at Bridge Street across the state highway to be able to come to Bridge Street, be able to use Bridge Street and Portland Street but no further than Main Street and Brooklyn Street up into the commercial areas so people can get to the restaurants. I mean, they can still park in all the municipal parking lots, but they would still be able to get up into that area. And then the other part, keeping Katie's Falls all the way up in, in case uh, Hyde Park ever let them come down. What's the name of that road over there? Um, no. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that if there's a kid, then they can come through Hyde Park <coughs> And then come down Katie's Falls. So they'd only have to get permission to cross the state highway, it's not beyond the state highway to do that. Right. So um, the other thing is too, we talked a little, uh, quite a bit about the ordinance. Um, we would have that mirror the, the town's speed limit ordinances and the town's you know, traffic rules for that. What else? Am I missing anything back there, PD Chief? No, um, this wouldn't take effect this year. I, I guess the season. Season's almost over, so the idea would be to get the ordinance and have everything in place for the beginning of the next year. Kind of good synopsis, please, if you guys if I missed anything. No, I think you're doing well. I mean, I just believe that you know, that would get us in down that way. We'd also be able to that would get us mostly one lane in at this point. Eventually, I think we probably would split it. We talked to High Park, Center Road. Come down through that way, come across by by Price Shopper, just to split the traffic up, so you don't have one run. Right. Of everybody break that up a little bit, kind of ease ease pressure somewhat. I think that's probably our only change to that in the future. Once we, we work on that a little bit, but that will get us into town, and I, I believe I believe it would be good for the town. I did, as you know, we did receive a letter of complaint from one of the residents over there yep, yep. and um i actually took the initiative and reached reached out to some of the people that live there today and uh, talked to two uh, i reached out to three and only heard back from two and uh of those two one of them hears and sees everything that goes through there and and um he he thinks you know there's always bad apples in the bunch you know there's people that ride really slow he watches them he walks on that road all the time every you know, all the time, and um, people are really respectful. Some they you know, they'll go through slowly, and now you know they take care for people on bikes and people walking, and they know they're noisy. <clears throat> and he said, and then you see these people that they don't care. They're they're super loud machines, and they're horsing them. And and uh, he he felt that the club should really come forward and help to police it. Now I know that's a problem for a lot of reasons. But um, he talked about policing is, he said, you know, if you sat over there on Saturday, if we had one of the officers sit over there, he said, you could, you could see multiple things that happen and um, just warn them. And, and he, he felt like uh, a responsibility of the club could be to reach out to some of these people and say, look, we're going to lose the privilege, you know, to use those roads if, you know, you know how the bad apple can cause ripple. Our tool pretty much basically transfer right really well. but it would be good to have more extra patrol over there richard you know to um uh, as a presence to to slow people down and i understand i mean if i if i lived over there i i feel for some of the residents and i feel for the individual that sent this letter 
<clears throat> I, it was uh, over the top for me, but um, I still respect uh, the input and um, and the initial, the person that came in here with the initial complaint way back when, I did speak to her and she didn't have a problem. So she said, for the most part, people are respectful and they drive at good <coughs> speeds. But you do have those people that, that don't care and they're, you know, there also could be the people, and I'm not going to label them, but they could be people from out of state or whatever too. But we all know there's the wild people that live around here too. You know, I've got a side by side myself, so I'm very familiar with the whole scene, and um, I like I like the idea of it. But I I'd like to find a way to um, to deal with the, the problems. You know, I'm sure Richard would too. Yeah, we've had some discussions. Uh, they've gone to chamber our last last club meeting. And we've discussed it within my park still a few residents the same thing as every other town that has concerns over it. We discussed whether they could we could come up with something with them. So you know, even if we got over to the lamp factory on a Saturday morning, you know, between eight and eight, nine thirty for right. the whole fire. That's what this guy said. In, you know? yeah. And you know, you are gonna have to make a few of them sting a little to right. uh, make it work, but yeah. It's what it takes, you know. The right. bad apples are, the word gets around. Like, you have game wardens, um, you have a bridge, like right now, I haven't seen it. You have a bridge out to Eden. Eden doesn't have a town warden, but we have trails on there. We're only responsible, really, for the trail stuff that he throws. <coughs> Supposedly, there's a game warden that's been sitting at this bridge that was ruined by whatever the Halloween program was. And rumor has that everybody, you know, oh, watch out for the no, game warden. So right. once you see a patrol, you know, where's Richard? Like, you know, where you guys got the warden on the corner. <coughs> everybody knew about it. Right. Slow down. Right. You know, once the word gets out. Right. Yeah. And, and while we're not sure, I have one more question. Okay. Will you guys grant us one more road? What road is that? Thompson Hill, Thompson Hill, Trumbly Hill, which is the road next? Like Fraser Road. Fraser Road, Trumbly Hill, you're talking about. Trumbly Hill. Trumbly Hill. Can we, because we have Hyde Park, we have a trail that goes to Green River Reservoir, and we also have that road that goes to Sutter. Right. And we have somebody that really loves me to on Fraser Road. And I'd like to have him be able to get to him. Yeah. I see the crew is here. <laughs> if we could have that. Right. I'd like to hear from the rest of the board. What do you guys feel? What's Are that? licenses required on the ATVs? Yes. Yes. And, and, and do people have, they're supposed to wear helmets? You have to be yeah. registered and insured and licensed. Okay, and what about ages to drive? It's over 18. Or well, if, if you took a junior rider's test, you can be as young as 12. Really? With somebody else. You can't cross the main road unless you're, right? I'm not sure. 12 to, I think 12 to 16, you have to have somebody with you. Over 16, or 16 and over. That's what I thought, yeah. I think that's the age bracket. Do you have a thought, Eric? Do you want to? Well, I'm wondering about signage. When we start uh, limiting our village streets, I'm thinking Hutchins, Railroad Street, I can see somebody coming off bridge going to Portland and then want to make the loop turn around or whatever, go, to, go down to 10 Railroad, have lunch. We're going to start running in vehicles on roads that aren't approved. We, the PD needs some clarification if they're going to enforce anything. We can't make it foggy. So it's, I, I just, do we need signage? Do we need markings that this is an ATV road? I, I know so in Newport and some of the other communities uh, that have the ATVs in town, we have signage that uh, notify operators that ATVs are allowed on certain streets. So I, I'm looking at the cost on adding signage and if we might need to do that. But something to look at between now and when we pick this up for approval. It gives us time to think about it. The, the, the cost, the cost of the taxpayers, as far as signage goes, the company needs to ramp up. Well, signage as in direction, signage as in, we use, we have smaller 
I'm not sure if you have better yet, no ATV signs that we place at, at stop areas of our of masses and our own. Depends on how big of a sign or what you what you think appropriate for your location, I guess. We have to look at them and check them out. Brent, you got a comment? Well, you just like to see Route 12 open myself. <laughs> you don't know anyone up there. <laughs> <laughs> up there. <laughs> so, yeah, both registered and all up to date, you know. I mean, I would love to drive right from my own driveway. Um, we look at ending it from the center of the village, what, well, this way, correct? Right. I mean, Main Street. Right. You're looking at other people that also own. Right. When you have a snowmobile trail that's right up the road from me, that's right. not going to drive down the snowmobile trail. Because either A, if I do hit the snowmobile trail, I'm going to stay highway. And either way, if I'm going to drive mine down the road from there to the center of town, mm -hmm. fingers crossed. Yeah. Well, I'm the same way. You know, I live on the lower on mountain road and I've got friends exactly. right over Rowdy Town, all those guys who ride on exactly. the other side of things. But. I think you know, I go out every weekend and I've been trying to spend a couple hundred bucks wherever I go. So I think this would be the opportunity. The town of Morristown, they want things to be beautiful and grow, and which. Uh, I haven't lived here 44 years of my life. I've seen it when small. I see it now, and uh, I think the revenue, I've talked to a couple of places up in Newport, their revenue is 70% more a year since that's opened up. 70% of a hell of a lot of money. Why, why should we open up like the whole village. I mean, because you gotta follow the rules, jump speed on the road, you know. So, Mike, just look at that. So I think my personal comment is I, I would love to see the village open, um, but if you're only limited to one side of the town, you're gonna cut it off. You're, you're cutting off half of the half of the business. Right. Right. So well, why, why shouldn't why shouldn't Pizza Main or El Toro or Thompson or Tamar or what, why can't they have a different one? We're, we're not against that. I understand that this is a significant change, just as Newport had a significant change. I don't disagree. And we're looking at making sure that I'm I'm for it because I do see the revenue, I do see that that aspect of it, but we also are quality of life issues. And we have to balance out both sides of that. We're all, all taxpayers and folks who live here in the village. If we just flat open the village, then that means we can have people on Union Street, Summer Street, back in the real residential neighborhoods with ATVs going down and down the road. I don't think that's appropriate. I don't well, think that's right. I understand that. You're, you're probably going to get pushed back from those little businesses. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, I'm, and again, I'm, the reason what I'm trying to say to you is the reason we're not just blanket saying open everything. And the fact that they've come to us to start the Solar Ridge Road, we've talked about a, a slow progression of opening on the roads. It is more about um, getting our getting folks in town accustomed to seeing ATVs and, and those vehicles on some of the streets. So that as we expand, and the expansions only comes if we don't get a huge pushback from our community, um, then we can continue to open things up further and further. And continue to experiment with that, but we also have there's regulations that we we can't do on state highways and we don't have any control of that. Would it be good for one of you guys to reach out to maybe somebody from Newport and discuss, you know, how how they? I've reached out to them. I'm waiting to hear back yeah. right now. Yeah, I um, you know, it kind of reminds me of uh, Governor Scott's idea of open the spigot, you know, slowly. Just kind of reminds me of that. Just the right. Just see what happens. And, you know, I don't think any of us are really against it, but go ahead, Denny, and then you're here.
Go ahead, uh, I'm I'm reasonably sure that we're not against it, but you got to look back. It's taken vast 50 years, basically, to get pretty well recognized throughout the state. NASA has taken, we've been working on it for 20 years, plus 20 plus years to get to where we are now. So I agree that it would be really nice to have the whole town, the village opened up, but I think we've still got to, we still got to take baby steps. The same way we're addressing this coronavirus is you got to do a little bit at a time. And like Eric or Bob's, I mean, you got to get the population used to seeing these things on the road. I, I was in Newport yesterday and we we're coming out of the city and it's still, I mean, as much as I've ridden, it still seems funny to see a side by side coming down the street at you. You know, it, I don't know, just kind of stuff kind of weird, but. Now here's my question um, too. It's the Oxbow in town all square. That's all town property. Yeah. And now it's a parking spot and a voting spot. Is that a feasible place to do that? I don't see why not. So that will give the ability for people to. And I, I, I Use it as a trailhead. And trickle it in, you know, at least the town people would have the place. Park and walk if they want to go to Pete and so wherever. You can't do and get on the town and get into the trail system. Yeah. Right. I, 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 we, we kind of wanted to make sure that the parking lot was available for parking. Right. So, yeah. you, the, you know, you got parking across the street, you got parking, right. you you bang. So, we felt like, you know, I understand you're correct, but we felt like we could still get to those business establishments in those parking lots. So we want to make sure the parking lots are good for you to use so that you're, you're really right next to the businesses. But as a truck and trail or parking lot, right. you kind of got to be a little careful of that too because we'll have to be the bank. That would be a lot of there. So were you talking about, you're talking about just parking the units parking. themselves, not truck and trail? Truck and trail. I'm talking to you. Yeah, truck, 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 truck and trail on the Oxbow yeah. was going to be problematic. Because it's just on weekends when that's the part of the time ride is also when that park wants to close. The folks use the fields and uh, down there. So I think it's some stuff. Yeah. Well we can continue to explore, but I'm just thinking Yeah, no, once you park one truck and one trailer, you yeah. now reduce the amount of turnaround where we got down there. So yeah. we're really trying to really quick. But I don't think I'm up man. We can't do it, I just think we'll need to take the winter and look at these things. What options we have available? Would so, that also that's for us to say, okay, no, this is not a not a place to park. You know, yeah. don't want. I think one of the things that you need to us that Newport doesn't have to deal with is the rail trail. And I think if one ATV goes down that rail trail, it's going to be an end to public access. That would be a problem. Yeah, it would be a huge problem here if they, if somebody, one of the bad guys or whoever it is, decides, well, I'll just get from Railroad Street over to Brooklyn Street and cross the bridge. And be on my way. It it will absolutely turn the public against the ATV. Something that really needs to be stressed. I agree. Yeah. yeah, that's another thing I was going to bring up as well on Silver Ridge Road. You probably could do more signage. Um, the 25 mile an hour speed limit, or in a lot of places, they reduce to 15 uh, if they have problematic areas. And I've seen all over the place. And you know, the sign. I know Bass has signs on their trail. You know, a sensitive area, obey the speed limit, 15 miles an hour, or yeah. we will probably lose it. We actually purchased, our, our own club purchased and had signs paid up for sensitive area. When we ran into an issue with like Johnson, we were doing it, we were posting 15 up there. They were called out by a resident saying, town posted 25. Now you're saying 15 for this, 25 for that. We just want to, if you do an ordinance, make that open option for us to control the speed on our machines so we don't have a conflict with people saying, okay, your town's 25, but you want to say APD is 15. We have no problem with that at all. Right. Other towns haven't called out by my resident saying, oh, what you're saying, you have to be sure. That. sure. No, there was no legal standing for it. Right. Well, we haven't heard from the PD yet. What does Richard or Garth have to say? Well, I think we have a way to get all the 
Yeah. Patrol is up for a challenge, right? Sure. Yeah. Gar okay. loves that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I you know I we like, only have one meeting, so I think we'll go here all week and then we're gonna break Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We really hadn't until this one. You know, I, I spent some time this summer at uh, the house on Colony Hill and Johnson. Uh, the roads open, and, and on that weekend day, there happened to be probably 30 machines in that line. And the ones that went by, it's a 15, say 15 year old, they're just judging, they were just trying to meander and look. Looking at nature, right? They they weren't disruptive or loud. We've got this. We had a couple went by, we're probably doing 25 or 30 to put them together. That's when they begin to irritate folks like you see it. Um, so it, it's just like everything else right now. There's no question, there's some growing things too. Yeah. Okay. Right. And I, I don't want, we, we've had the one uh, resident that, that sent us a, a letter, uh, one in great detail, very upset about it. And I don't want to dismiss her or anybody else may feel that way. I want them to come here and, and, and talk to us and uh, you know feel that they have us and open forum like we have here tonight to discuss that piece of it. Because I think the uh having more than one way into town and reducing the traffic, splitting the traffic out would help. You know, and having it all been out over there girls. Hey Steve, you may comment. You're you see them in here all the time. I haven't seen a lot this year. It's mostly they, they park down the sunset, and then they head north. Yeah. Um, we've had a few groups come through, um, not from this area. Uh, we've had people come from Essex on how they got here. And then a group of 20 of them coming through. They all came from Essex. They, they all head north because that's where most of the trails go. So, because they can't go any further than the sunset. Right. Uh, granted, if it opens up, and Bring probably more definitely through the village, through this area. Yeah. And we've done pretty good with it this year. Yeah. For the first time, obviously. But uh, overall, I think it'll bring more people in for sure. Okay. Yeah. Dennis. A couple of things. We keep referring to Newport. Newport's in baby steps right now. Right. Run to Gore. Mm -hmm. Talk to somebody down there. Yeah. I mean, they've been doing it forever. They're probably weeded out half the problem we're talking about. Yes, it's a different state, but still, it's the same way here. Mm -hmm. Noise, I don't buy that. You want to listen to snow machines, go buy it. You want I to do. listen to my bike, no, go buy it. <laughs> this, I'm this, this, Richard lets you go buy on his bike. This, <laughs> 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 yeah. I can make it loud. <laughs> but I keep hearing about noise. Yeah, Listen to a sled that's got a triple on it with a raised pipe. You'll hear it halfway through town, especially at 10 o'clock at night when it's still on the trail. Bikes, diesel trucks, it's cool not to have a muffler in it. My Chevy truck had no muffler in it because Dustin said it's the greatest thing. I don't buy the noise argument because if you're picking on the ATV guys, now you're going to go to the sleds. You're going to make these guys' job a lot harder because they're going to have to really stop pulling over loud vehicles. But the noise is, I don't, that's not something to concentrate and complain on. I don't care what neighborhood you live in. You want to listen to the summer night, listen at my house, and listen to bikes go up and down Route 12. Once they hit Sand Hill, I mean, it's. It all depends on who you are. You know, you know, I like all these. I've got dirt bikes and side by side and all that stuff too in a Harley. But there's a two stroke bike that goes by my house on a weekend and it annoys me like well, this unreal. Is going by my house and try to sound like Harley. It's I can't going through the car band. It's like. But. I go back to what Kyle I was there told me. You know, you don't like what your neighbors doing, you don't like what they're doing on the street, you can't afford to buy them out and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Words and wisdom from Denny. I'm just saying I appreciate the input. You can't 
concentrate on more than the issue. Yeah. Go ahead, Brent. And does she want to talk about excessive speed? She didn't say it right. Is Elmore Street, I swear to God, if there's no cop on Elmore Street, it's 65 plus, and it's all night long. So, whether it's some, some kid with a super with a park team on it, it's only, like, you know what, to begin with. If you want to talk about speed, Elmore Street. Brent, what you got to do is get a mannequin with a uh, radar gun on a chair down to the bottom of your driveway. You don't need to see these guys. You know what they're there. They're not going to be I get the speed thing. I watch it from my chair right out the window. And I see what that little sign flashes. Brian. So one of the things I've talked to some of the ones that are riding side by side and stuff, most of them don't want to drive on the street. They just need a chance to get from this point to this point because there's a trail over here, but now we can't go across. But they like to be on the trails, up in the trees, and over the mountains. That's what they like to do. So, so that's what I'm saying. But if you can come down, like you said, you can come down in Hyde Park. If you can get to this part and all of a sudden, Oh, now I'm at Town of Morristown. I can't get from here to there. So all you want to do is get on the road to get to the next place you pick up the trail. So, right. and I do think it's a great thing. And I know that, like I said, New Hampshire is making big money on this kind of stuff. Yeah. Judy, you haven't, you've been quiet, Judy. Are you still there? I am. I was wondering, uh, does any of this, um, uh, two things. One, could one of, don't, does the town own or... Um, uh, can they get access to the police where I could access to one of those speed limit signs that lights up and tells you how fast you're going? Do we have one of those? We do. Can we put one out on Silver Ridge or wherever this, the issues are on a weekend? Because sometimes that does help with getting people to slow down. Yeah, we'll get the radar trailer. I'm and sure I'd love to have a paintball gun and go out and shoot them, but I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> What was the second thing, Judy? And one is, is any of this discussion going on addressing um, the information that the, was sent to us um, about the complaint? No, I just know that we all got it. Okay. I didn't know if it was going, I mean, I think the, um, uh, the possibility of putting out the radar um, assisted um, speed limit object might address some of the speeding here. Right. Meant, Judy, I mentioned her by reference in that she sent the, the complaint to the town uh, in that I think there's ways for us to find a balance. I think having more than one way into town will help to reduce traffic, um, some more clear signage perhaps. I think there's ways of us to uh, not ignore her quality of life complaint, uh, but not shut the ATVs out as well. I think there's a, a balance to be struck there. We just haven't quite found it yet. That sounds really good, Eric. Thank you. And if we could get, you know, like down Center Road, they can get over to Maple Field and still get over to Charlemont if they want to, you know, and it'll be mm -hmm. better balance, Fraser Road. <laughs> so what do you guys want to do? What uh, What's the next step? Was this, yeah. was this more or less just to get a feel for the board and how accepting we were to that?
but you know, it is kind of, you know, this is what we kind of talked about, what we want to bring back in front of you, because everybody takes pop shop as you know, like it or not like this. So. Right. Mike, you had a comment? Yeah, well, the question, does anybody um, address like a more than compared with time on it? Like we talked about it. Yeah. Yeah. We the same thing in the Presbyterian towns, which I believe we if I remember correctly. High Park is eight to nine. Eight, yeah. eight, 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 eight a.m. to nine p.m. Nine o'clock on the weekend. Does that? I mean, that way it helps appease that lady on the Silver Ridge Road if we. I mean, she had some she had concerns that a lot of people had, and it's not she wasn't out of the realm. The global warming part kind of threw me a little bit for a loop, but but we can we can deal with what she's concerning with. You know, she right. dust. I don't know where she gets dust, but it's dust. You know, dust comes down speed from home fair. You look at it, but. Mm -hmm. Know, posting whatever speed works for that area, you know, 15, and 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 the board is okay with us putting a 15 sign there. I have zero problem. Mm -hmm. Well, do you want to do some more work and we'll figure yeah. out what we want to have? Yeah, we'll put together the ordinance and we really kind of want to get the street feel you guys out and see what you thought, but everybody gets an input for you guys and the board. And work with the police too. <laughs> Gary. You know, I love volunteering and everybody else's time, but uh, would, would it be beneficial for us to have a liaison from the board when Dan meets with the, the club as far as talking about the ordinance and that stuff? Would that I would you'd be interested? Yeah, that would be a good I'm not trying to think yeah, that would be a good idea. idea. Yeah. You, you ride them, I don't. So I, I just thought. I have mine. I've got one that sits in my shed out back. I haven't even taken the cover off. Because you can't drive anywhere in town. I was going to say, you can't get you can't out of the yard anyway, so you guys can prove it. He's got it he real. takes Shelly for a ride around the house. <laughs> I have to behave myself now. I'm on this board. Before, I just ride right up the street. You know. <laughs> Richard knows that. So does Gary. All right, any more comments? So is the Silver Ridge Road still going to stay open? For now, yes. We will. And we'll do a weekend with the signer. I just right. sent a message to Killmaster asking for more time. Yeah, that sounds good. That season closes at November 1st, right? Perfect. Yeah. So, like we said before, everything we do is going to be for next season anyway, right. pretty much. Okay. But you didn't get a complaint last night. You see the guy went to go right over that rotary. Right up the middle of the road, right down to the down to the Silver Road, pulled into the Sunset Driveway there. Just seen the dust flying all over. He had the right Silver Road. Was that before or after I came through there, Steve? Right after. <laughs> right after? <laughs> right after? Right in, Sam. Yeah. I don't oh. know where he came from, but he was just seen go right over that road. Wow. All right. Wasn't that guy they caught Lowell last night doing 119 in the Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for uh, coming in and, and expressing your your input, and we'll keep working Bob, on could it. Could you just could you just reiterate what the steps are going to be again? Go ahead, Dan. <laughs> sure. So the next step will be to get everybody back together. Gary's going to be the liaison for the select board and uh, start working on writing the ordinance, and then get once again input from the club, input from the PD. Get the ordinance put together, then bring the ordinance back to the select board. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Judy. All right, we'll move to number two approved changes to zoning bylaws with the planning council. Thank you, Tom. Yep. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. God was. Where'd he go? Todd, are you on the phone? Check his office.
perfect sense. Yep, that, that just goes to replace as part of this. Rebuilding project. I wonder, I come up to it today. I wondered why they had to reclaim the state door. Yeah, so and they're really, Stone's working hard with the state so that those two schedules don't conflict. Because if they conflict, it's going to be a mess. A mess. <laughs> so the, the state project is going to have a traffic light control pass and screws. Oh, that'll make it smooth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, or from our perspective, that was the only thing that we could really see that kind of throw it off. I know <clears throat> the detour, I don't think it's a big deal. Stuff with local areas where they're talking about the detour needs to go. People are going to understand what the back roads are anyway. I don't think the detour is going to have any real impact um, on the town. But you got to consider that two bridge projects are ongoing at the same time. Both those roads are down in one lane. It's going to be a huge task. And then I think you're throwing on the north end of town that they're going to grind and repave um, the 15 between Johnson and, and you know, all the way to the north town, uh, we'll cut town line. If they, I'm just saying that that could really follow up traffic in this area for a while next summer. So a lot of things going on, they're all good things, but I, I think they're not, they're going to make sure that their project on that end doesn't conflict with the, the state's bridge deck replacement. But it's something that will happen next summer. Both of those projects will happen next summer. And there will be more traffic, I'm sure, um, that will come down stagecoach next year, um, you know, just like we had this summer. So I mean if that this project are all over, um, uh, that that deck replacement is really gonna push traffic on stagecoach again. So just so everybody understands what's going on around it. So Okay. Um we've done two showings at the village garage, we have two more to go. Um, hopefully, I'll have um, be able to have a bid process complete, something back in front of the select board for the next meeting. So, um, and everything's gone well. Um, everybody looked at it. We haven't run into a great deal of questions, really, from that perspective. So, I, I think it's, uh, it, it's, it's going well enough. So, um, but then we've got some good interest, so I think that Paris will go down. The uh, process of moving over to the new village garage is going smooth. So, um, that, I'm not getting more. Well, we're getting uh, pretty much all the blocks right now. It's all transfer to install building. Um, we have the shelving put up. Uh, there's a bench in there now. We've got Comcast coming tomorrow for the uh, internet and Wi Fi. And then we have elevated coming back for the month to transfer the cell phone line landline. Overall, I think we've come a long way ways. I know Kevin was also saying that they're going to be changing the lower panels of the garage doors across the front, all the way across, just below the very bottom panel. Um, we'll have to look at DJ on that. Uh, how high are they going to the blocks on the, in the salt shed? Uh, they're three? Three high in the front and on the side, and it goes more high in the back. More high in the back. We're actually going to take plywood and run it off the back of the building over the block. So, just in case it does start to spill right. over, it'll still stay in the yeah. Good. Good idea. <laughs> yeah, I went over this weekend. I see that down here. Coming pretty good. That's a picture of it. Yeah, I went over and looked at it this yeah. weekend. That's <laughs> good. I saw it too. It's going to be a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, everything's that to start with doing all the trucks. Sounds good. Okay. Any questions for Dan? Thanks, Dan. Select board concerns. Gary. Uh, I had Eric a copy of the packet. Oh, yeah. I saw that. Uh, Tim Sullivan contacted me this week. Well, you can see it, the email. Yeah. Uh, it's just going to be a lot easier if you, if you read through it. <laughs> uh, explain what he's looking to do is he and his mom own 53 acres up by the town forest and yep. they're looking to maybe uh well as you can see through the thing uh, expand their sugar bush operation yep. or to see if it's feasible if if it even makes sense and, uh, mm -hmm. and as you'll see my response to him is i told him it's the slight board i was going to bring it to the board and if they didn't have any real problems with it, then I suggested it would go. It would probably go to the uh, conservation commission for their input. Yeah. 
I think so. And I'm not sure that he's in a real giant rush. I don't know if there's anything that would happen this year anyway, because mm -hmm. I think he needs permission to cross state land as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, if anybody has any in person input or in person that they can talk to as far as the state and crossing the state line, would be so much better for him probably. He's not going to interrupt the truck the vast trail. Mm -hmm. It goes through there. So Okay. Well it's just a it's not a real flight board concern, it's just a more informational FYI. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think so. That's a good call. Yeah. All right, Judy. Just uh, those damn speeders on Randolph Road. <laughs> Richard. Yeah, do you hear that, Judy? No, I did not. The car's going to be on your front lawn tomorrow with your permission. Yes, sir. I, right, beside we are happy. That, uh, right, right beside that funny political sign you have out there. We need camera taking pictures of Does that sound good? That sounds good to me. Okay. Brian. All I want to say is um, after we talking about the rail trail, the crops. Oh, yeah. Uh, I noticed it down the stove right by Willie's. Well, auto there. Yeah, yeah. They got the same thing across there too. They got the markings for their bike path. Or yeah. What do they call right. it? Right. Direct path. So yeah. I wonder. Just, yeah, I know. I just didn't know if it had. Yeah. This was a state. You know, uh, yeah. I didn't check. Rail, it. I was going to go up further and see if they had it all the way up, but I think they probably do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah. yeah, there's one there by the stove plate. I know where yeah, they cross okay. there. Yeah. Yeah. Is something I haven't been able to say at it there, but yep. yeah. Eric. I'm all set. And I'm all set. Do we have any other business? Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Go so Oh, I got one other thing to say. Too late. Good job. What? Well, seven o'clock. Hey, too bad. Late agenda. Making up for the last two. Making up for the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Judy. Thank you. Good night. Night. Yeah, that was painful, the last one. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure.